Hello and welcome to this beginning tutorial in how to make a text-based adventure in Python. Now as you can see I've structured my game into subroutines and this is really handy because it means basically you can have each subroutine as one game um, room or scene in the game. So that divides up the code very nicely. Um, so to start off with I've made my first room. I've used the keyword define so def for short in Python. I've given the room a name. Now this can be any name you want, you know, it could be clearing, it could be forest path, but one thing to remember, it needs to be all one word, no spaces, that won't work. All has to be one word. You need the open and close round brackets and the colon. Now after the colon, everything has to be indented inwards to make it part of that subroutine. And a good way to check that it's in the right place is to back up to the colon and hit enter and you should see that the peep print, the variable direction that I've made to take some keyboard input, so you know whether they choose left or right, that function input will store it in the variable I've called direction, and then I've got an if statement to say if whatever's stored in that variable is equal to right, call the subroutine second room, if it's anything other than right, call the subroutine third room. And that's basically how it works. So when we run the code, initially all this gets ignored and it sees this function call down here. And the code jumps up to start room and starts running this. If you type in left, we go to the second root subroutine. Else if we type in anything else but right, we go to the third room subroutine. So it means you can the person playing the game can choose where to go and it starts to become an interesting adventure. The second subroutine I've made is for the second room, set up almost exactly the same way. One thing to note, with a if-else statement, once you've written the colon after the condition, if you hit enter, it will put the um, function call you want to put in there, or the print statement, in the correct place. And it should be indented, just like this. One common mistake people make is when they start to write the else, they have it on this level of indentation here it should be, the E should be matching the same level as the I. And everything inside the else and the if, again, should be on the same level. And if you've done that, it will be correct. So this time they're in a kitchen. Um, if they choose anything other than right this time, they'll meet a huge growling rat and get chomped away. It will end. And this little function is quite handy. Quit, if you're ending the game, that will close idle down. So it will you know, close down the program. So it's quite handy if you want to finish the game off. Um, however, if they avoid the big chomping rat and they choose to go right, so they enter right into the keyboard, they come down, but they come back to the start room here. And then you know, they've got a choice. If they go left this time, they'll go to the third room and so on and so forth. Now this code is so easy to build on. You can literally copy one of these subroutines, you can make sure you're backed up all the way to the edge of the screen, and then you can edit it. So you could then call this, you know, fourth room for example. And then you could change what's in here to something else. You know, you could then change here, instead of going to the second room there, you know, you could take it to the fourth room and you can start sort of really building up the game. Instead of in a hallway, you know, you can be somewhere else completely now, I know you're in a bathroom, um, so on and so forth. So it becomes very, very, very quick to build up quite an interesting sort of story, text-based game, um, and then in future tutorials, I can show you things like how to save the game, I can show you how to have like characters you can meet and talk to, get given items, you, know, you can ho hold on to items and use them to you know, weapons, um, keys, anything like that. So there's a lot of places you can take this. But this is a really good base. This will get you started on your game. You can move between the different rooms in the game. And most importantly, because we put everything into subroutines, it makes the code, you know, much, much easier to debug. Okay, thanks for listening to this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.